Okay, so I've got all of the wall anchors inserted, and next you're gonna put up the rail. And you know, especially if it's a long rail, the easiest thing to do is try to find a middle point or a somewhat middle point. Um, and then put that screw in first, so it'll be somewhat easier to manage after that. I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so I've just held up the rail, and then with the other hand, I just kind of hand tighten that, that middle screw in there. And you notice this rail and this railing, make sure these notches are on the top part of the rail. And that's, that shows you what orientation it should be. So those should always be on the top. Then once you've got that in, so then you just put in, put in the rest, just hand tighten them. And hopefully we've drilled in somewhat straight. So now that I've got all the screws in there, just hand tightened. And it's going to take a lot of turning on these to get these um, to tighten up. So just use a use a drill with a um, Phillips head bit on it, and off you go. And I just get them. I get them close, and then. And then I kind of get the others, but not fully tight. And I do the same for the rest before I, before I tighten everything up. So now all the screws are, are pretty close. And I'm just going to do a, just really short bursts on the drill until it, until the, uh, the Phillips head kind of s stops and kind of jumps out. You'll see. I was going to do real slow, like short bursts. There you go, see? And after I do that, then I'll just use a, just hand tighten it with a Phillips screwdriver. So that, so all of them are like that, and just the reason I do that is because I don't want to strip the, strip the thread, that little, delicate plastic thread that I was banging on earlier. 